All right. 1027. 2020. Horror movie recommendations for the final week of the month. Let's get into it. If you have Amazon Prime, you want to watch Frankenstein. Not the original OG Frankenstein, the 1990s Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, right? Now, I watched this movie recently, and I'm watching it, I'm like, damn, this shit sucked. Like, it sucked. Like, you're watching it, and it looks like somebody recorded some off-Broadway community college play of Frankenstein. Like, the sets are clearly, like, you know, you know, the guys, they push him onto the stage, and you can see the back end of everything. Like, I'm like, this is terrible. And then Frankenstein starts making the monster, and he starts stealing, you know, the lady's water break. So we steal the water break to fill it up in a bucket and then put the electric eels in it to make the Frankenstein. And you're like, okay, maybe this is all right. And then the Frankenstein monster appears on screen, played by Robert De Niro. And you understand why Robert De Niro is one of the greatest actors of all time. Like, the movie goes from, like, community college, off-Broadway... To like, holy shit, this is wild. And Robert De Niro comes up, why am I alive, father? And he runs away from his father with his gimpy leg. And they think he's got the plague. So he goes and he hides in this thing with the pig. And he helps the families kill the wolf, right? And harvest up all their beets. Because the ground was too cold. And they're like, oh, thank you, Christmas spirit. Thank you, Christmas spirit. And he's like, ta-da, I'm really Frankenstein. I'm not a Christmas spirit. So they're like, die, Christmas spirit. And then the Christmas spirit or Frankenstein gets all pissed off and he goes, takes Helena Bottom Carner and he rips Helena Bottom Carner's heart out and then Frankenstein puts her heart back in but then she's like, I don't love you. I don't want to be like this. So she lights her whole shit on fire and then they go to Antarctica and they drown. All right. If you have Hulu, you need to watch the sequel <laughs> to Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. That's called I Frankenstein. <laughs> I Frankenstein takes place right after they drown in Antarctica. Right? So Frankenstein monster, this time not played by Robert De Niro, buries Frankenstein in the Frankenstein family grave. And then boom, demons come out. And the demons start attacking him. So who comes to his rescue? Gargoyles. So... <laughs> Frankenstein and a bunch of gargoyles versus demons is the premise of this movie. It's shit. But if you want to, like, watch something to just turn your brain off for an hour and 15 minutes, I, Frankenstein on Hulu is your deal. All right. If you have Tubi, and I had to call it last minute Audible to talk about this movie, you want to watch American Mary. American Mary... It's about this girl, she's going to school to be a surgeon, but she ain't got no fucking money because school's fucking expensive. So she goes, she brings a resume to the strip club to be a stripper, right? And then she's like, fuck it, I don't want to be a stripper. And then like the strip club owner's like this greasy dude, and he's like, hey, I was looking at your resume here. It says that you know how to do surgery stuff. My homeboy just got cut him up, sew him up. Repair, doctor him, and I give you $5,000. And then this Betty Boop lady comes up out of nowhere, and she's got a friend, and she wants the doctor to cut her nippies off and sew her cha-cha up. So the doctor's like, I don't know. So she cut her nippies up, and she sews her cha-cha up, and then she goes to this party with these surgeons, and then the surgeons drug her drink, and then they take advantage of her. So she's like, I want fucking revenge. So they kidnap the fucking doctor, and she cuts his fucking arms off, and she cuts his fucking legs off, and she cuts his fucking dick off, and she cuts his fucking tongue up. She's got him hanging by the fucking meat hooks, right? And she's just tattooing them and cutting them all up and torturing them and all this kind of shit. Right? She gets in this world of underground body modification. And the fucking two sisters who fucking made the movie, Jen and Sylvia Soska, appear to play characters in this movie. But they have the most, like, stereotypical Bugs Bunny German accent ever. So they come into the bar and they they got everything looked exactly the same. And they're like, We are sisters. We are sisters and we want for you to cut my left arm off and my sister Sylvia's left arm off and switch our left arms. 
And now, I can't imagine the Soska sisters without imagining them talking in this Bugs Bunny fucking voice. Like, I can see them filming the fucking movie, right? Like, Sylvia, Sylvia, get the blood, pour the blood on her titties. Oh, yes, Jennifer, we will pour the blood on the titties. Zoom it, zoom it, zoom it, yes. Like, I just imagine them always in this, like, Bugs Bunny German accent forever. Yes, Sylvia. We will, we will, we will cut the titties off and we will show the girl on the inside. Okay. If you have Netflix, you want to watch Anaconda. Now, you may say to me, but what? What? You usually put these movies together and there's some kind of underlying theme to them. How can Frankenstein, I Frankenstein, and American Mary with the German directors, how could that tie in with Anaconda? Okay? And my answer to you is, do you not know fucking anything about world history? You live on the earth and you don't know shit about it? Okay, check it. When the Nazis lost World War II, okay, okay, a bunch of their good scientists, right? Even though they were like shit people, they were shitty Nazis. Their, their good scientists were absorbed by the United States of America and other countries as part of Operation Paperclip. Werner von Braun, like the number two Nazi who used to hang people outside of the V2 rockets facility in Nazi Germany for working too slow, was the head of six moon missions on, on NASA. He was the head of fucking NASA for the moon shit, okay? They came over Operation Paperclip. Now, if you were a Nazi and you didn't know science shit, right? And there was a bunch of them who didn't know shit about science. They ran to Argentina. There's actually like Argentina, Venezuela, Brazil, South America, all this type of shit, right? There's even a conspiracy theory that Hitler didn't die but instead escaped to South America. Now there's this show called Hunting Hitler where this dude went down to South America and started hunting for Hitler in all these different areas. And he would come out of the South American jungle and hit a town. And the town, everybody there was German. Like in the middle of Argentina, in the middle of Brazil, in the middle of Venezuela, there was this town where every single person was German. The architecture was German. The signs are in German. Everybody spoke German. They ate German food. They wore the fucking lederhosen. You would go in fucking people's houses and there was fucking Nazi shit on the fucking wall. There was German shit on the fucking wall. Still, to this day, this shit goes on. So you ask me, what is Anaconda, the movie with Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cube getting eaten by a fucking snake in the Amazon, got to do with fucking Frankenstein and fucking Germany and fucking Nazi movies, and I'll tell you, you need to ask me for an apology. Or I ask you for an apology. I don't know how apologies work anymore, okay? Anaconda is a Nazi fucking snake movie. That's how I connect German Frankenstein, German I Frankenstein, Jen and Sylvia Soskas, and fucking Anaconda. So Netflix, watch the Nazi snake movie, Anaconda, starring Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cube. Now, I know some other people might be like, Anaconda's not a horror movie. It didn't come out on Halloween. Trust me, it's a horror movie, even though it didn't come out on Halloween. As far as what I'm watching tonight, I'm watching Lords of Salem, the best Rob Zombie movie. I already fucking covered that, okay? But for you, if you have Prime, check out Robert De Niro's Frankenstein. If you have Hulu, check out I, Frankenstein, the sequel to Frankenstein. If you have Tubi, check out American Mary. And like, I'm telling you, when them Soskas walk in with that Bugs Bunny accent, like, you can't look at them the same anymore. Cut off my arm and put it on my sister arm. We love it. And the number one movie you need to watch tonight, the Nazi snake movie, Anaconda with Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cube and John Voight and the one guy who gets the bee in his neck and he doesn't say shit. The whole movie's like, oh, God, I got a bee in my neck. All right. 
Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow I got some wild shit. I got I got a disco movie. I got a techno movie. I got a French Canadian movie. And I got one of the nastiest movies I've ever seen in my entire life. So come back. Uh like and surprise if you want some more of this content, bro. Yeah, whatever.